I almost got scammed from Facebook Marketplace, but turned it into a massive profitable situation. After reaching out to a guy on Facebook Marketplace selling massive black walnut slabs, I decided to purchase one for $600. But what he actually brought to my workshop was something totally different. This black walnut slab was actually two slabs, very thin, an inch and a quarter thick, and only about 12 and a half inches wide. Now, these slabs are great and all, but that's not what I thought I was ordering. I was getting a seven foot long, three foot wide, three inch thick slab, but I got this. But I had to make a judgment call and I had to act quick. I quickly let him know how upset I was over the situation and that this was a commission and build for a customer and that this wasn't fair to try to bait and switch me. Basically baited me with an amazing picture of a slab, but what he brought me was a complete switcheroo. It was little dinky number two pencil slabs. That's not going to work. But in the end, he made a bunch of phone calls acting like he had to call somebody. He apologized for the confusion and offered me these two slabs for 50 bucks. Now that was a deal, so I took it. But I still needed to call my customer as I needed to explain to her what had happened. And after all, this is not what she had ordered. She had commissioned me a single slab cocktail table. And by the way, a cocktail table is just a fancy name for a bullshit coffee table. I told my client the entire story and was completely upfront with her. She understood and was bummed out. But I was able to switch it. I pitched her an idea of a river coffee table still using black walnut like she wanted. It just wasn't going to be as big and as thick. And her original price point was $12,000, and I offered her this one for $6,000. She was still pumped and excited as this project needed to be done for her open house party, and she was just really wanting it done. So I needed to jump on it. She was excited, and I was pumped to move forward. After all, I bought these slabs for $50. bucks. Now, just talking about material costs being $50 for the slabs, a couple hundred bucks on the resin, and charging a gross price of $6,000, I would say that's a win, right? That's not bad, but the labor itself had to be quite expensive, and I didn't factor that in. I especially didn't count for the grueling migraines and shoulder pain from doing the slab flattening, not to mention the damn mess it created all over the workshop. Jesus, it was a disaster zone. Now, this is not a type of project I do often, but it was still fun and I had a blast. But my major problem with this whole build was these slabs were only an inch and a quarter thick. And after I slab flattened them and got them completely dead square and flat, these things were only about seven eighths of an inch thick. So I did have some leftover black walnut that was dimensionally cut in the shop. And I made this border and I glued it down, clamped it down, and I added a few fasteners just to help it secure it. Now, off camera, I took my angle grinder and I went along the whole edge just to try to match and copy the real live edge on the top portion. It actually looked pretty damn cool. Now, in the act of transparency, I want to discuss this shop. This workshop I'm in right now is nearly 3,000 square feet, and it's my old shop. I'm no longer in it. This shop was a dream shop. I absolutely loved it. I mean, you could run 24-foot boards in any direction, vertically or horizontally, and hit nothing. It was amazing. But with hard times the way it is, I got booted out from this workshop. I was only renting it, and I had a five-year lease. The owner turned around and sold the property for a huge profit. And I mean huge, massive profit. And the new owners only gave me 30 days to get out. So... You know, entrepreneurship, it's a roller coaster ride. You got to move with it. It's highs, lows, ups, and downs. And if you can't pivot, then you'll never make it as an entrepreneur. And I believe I am an entrepreneur. Now, that doesn't go without saying I cried, I blamed a lot of shit, I was upset. In the end, I'm better now and happier now than I've ever been. You see, I switched and pivoted from doing these massive furniture builds to more small items like charcuterie boards, cutting boards, and just smaller woodworking projects. I find them to be highly profitable. Actually, in my opinion, way more profitable than these big ticket items like this. But I'll save that story for another day. A story that I am dying to tell you guys about switching and pivoting from making huge furniture for big price tags to making small woodworking projects for smaller price tags. But the profit margins are larger and you make more money. I can't wait to talk all about it. I'll save it for the future. But for now, look at how this coffee table is turning out. Well, excuse me, 
cocktail table. <laughs> LOL, right? These people. Cocktail table, coffee table, foot rest table, whatever you call it, it's the same thing. But it came out awesome and it really looks cool, right? I'm proud of it. And in the end, I turned a $50 ripoff situation to a $6,000 profit.